Hi everybody, my name is Mauro Scandiuzzo, I'm a field application engineer for ST Microelectronic and I'm working in the sensor area, in particular MEMS sensor. What I'm going to show you today, how to measure through our ProfiMEM tool, the MKI 109 V3, and through a graphical user interface that we call Unico, Unico GUI, the power consumption of our device. Our device can be applicable here with an adapter board and directly through the graphical user interface you are able to measure directly the power consumption without using any kind of uh, uh, meter, any kind of external tool. So how we start evaluating the power consumption of our sensor? First of all you need the, the graphical user interface then it's called Unico. So you type Unico here. If you already have downloaded don't worry you can use it or you can always check if there is a new updated version of the tool. In particular, I'm working Windows 10, so I will use the version for Windows. There is also a version for Mac and Linux. So let's press this one. You download the software, so you scroll down, get the software, you accept it, you log in. Once you have logged in, it's starting the process of downloading. Once you have downloaded and installed the the Unico and also you are sure that the firmware is updated at this point you can launch Unico from the toolbar here you just type Unico or if you have a link on your desktop also is fine so on the left side of Unico you have all the components so the first things we're gonna use is an accelerometer standalone the LIS2DW12 to measure the power consumption the, the LIS2DW12 is designed for really extremely low power application that is the reason why we have the W on the part number for the wearable application so we're gonna select a device type accelerometer on the right side there is the device name if we scroll down so you select the device that is LIS2DW12 you leave uh, common uh, communication with motherboard enable, automatic port detection enable, you select the device, at this point uh, there is automatic recognition of the UMI, so the device is here, you have the version of firmware, the version of graphical user interface and the uh, sensor that you are working with. So if you start the communication here and you go to the second tab option you see now then uh, as a default the device is in power down mode so and uh, let's say now we want to measure the power consumption so let's press the button advanced feature on the advanced feature on the bottom part you have the, uh, the supply voltage and in particular you have the VDD and for the core of the chip and VDD IO then is the supply voltage for the pad frame so now you are working with 1.A voltage but you can also change here and put the whatever is your voltage uh, cases so we are measure a power consumption the about 0 0.88 microamps so la now let's check together if this measure is consistent with it, our data sheet so let's go in the website and type this particular per number then it's called LIS2DW12 this is the device you press it you open the data sheet if you go on the document at the beginning of the document there is the specification and in particular there is also the power consumption section so let's look uh, how much is the power consumption declared on the data sheet the current consumption in power down 50 nanoamps so what we are measuring now is a little bit higher around 88 uh, 88 uh, 0 0.88 microamps due to some overhead but that is the power consumption that we measure so obviously we are talking about uh, nanoamps uh, probably with uh, um, an amperometer would be much better to measure that power consumption but this give you a roughly idea about uh, uh, if, how, how much is the power consumption in power down let's move now in an operating way so assuming that I want to work now with 12.5 uh, uh, micro um, 12.5 hertz so let's see how much is the power consumption in typical mode is uh, 1 microamps let's see now how much is so we put here 
we select uh, low power 12.5 Hz and press again the advanced feature. So now we are measuring a little bit more than 1 microamps, so 1.76 microamps. Let's see on the data sheet how much is the power consumption, for example, with 100 Hz. So we are talking about uh, 5 microamps. So let's move that now with the 100 Hz advanced feature and now we are talking about 6 microamp I can always change here also the voltages for example if I work at 3 volt I can set to 3 and I can set to 3 also on the VDD IO at this point the power consumption is 6.12 microamps so I can no, actually sorry is 7.47 microamps then a, a little bit higher respect 1.8 voltage so with this tool I can do a pseudo static uh, measure of the power consumption in any case if I want to have a more accurate power consumption measurement I can always uh, remove uh, this jumper here one is for VDD and one for the VDD IO I will suggest to use the VDD one and put in series an amperometer in this way you can also have a, a more accurate power consumption measurement in any case for all the documentation when you download the package here in docs you have uh, uh, the manual of the Profimem tools and you can also look and check the schematic if you scroll down the document you have the layout and you have also the schematic here is the schematic of the the board now let's move to a different device let's move we close the interface here and let's uh, evaluate the power consumption of a different device now let's look for the new six axis lsm6 dsox then is the latest with also machine learning core capability we change the adapter with a new one We connect the board, we launch the graphical user interface, Unico. At this point we are working with uh, a six axis, so the section to looking for is INEMO inertial module. The LSM6 DSO X is this one, the part number is Steval MKI 197V1. I select this device, the graphical user interface is going to open common port 3 communication start the communication as a default the device is in power down so let's uh, at this point measure the uh, we enable the ultra low power accelerometer and we enable the lower auto data rate 1.6 hertz and let's measure together how much is the power consumption so the power consumption is 4.39 microamp with 1.8 voltage of uh, supply so let's check how much is the power consumption so declare 4.4 .4 microamp with the accelerometer in ultra low power mode so we are matching exactly the condition let's uh, see how much is the power consumption at this point with 50 hertz we change here and we put 50 hertz and we check again the power consumption we are talking about 9.67 microamps let's see how much is here and so we are talking about the same 9.5 microamps uh, with 50 hertz of power of um, uh, auto data rate let's uh, put now the accelerometer in high performance mode and check so now we disable that and we put for example 100 hertz and check how much is the power consumption the power consumption now is 152.93 microamps if you look how much is declared an accelerometer current consumption in high performance mode 170 microamps now let's look if I turn on everything in high performance mode also the gyro so the power consumption due to the fact that now we enable also the gyro will jump up to 0 0.55 milliamps let's check it out so we enable also 100 hertz the uh, gyro let's measure that and now we are 533.94 microamps think about and always we, you can change the 
voltages and select the voltages that you want to uh, enable and also you can enable here the kind of different com uh, communication that you want to perform to SPI for Y3 wire or also I squared C. Let's leave as a SPI 3 wi uh, 4 wire. Let's check again, measure again, and now we see then the power consumption uh, increase up to 548 microamps with the three voltage configuration. Thank you very much today for uh, uh, watching the video. And uh, so if you need any kind of more information, please go to our website, www.st.com. You can find a lot of information, a lot of collateral, and please uh, uh, enjoy uh, the experience to work with st.com.